Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty. I jumped in and I picked up Battle of Moscow today because I wanted to try out the P-40. Thought that would be kind of fun. Let's jump into a quick mission here. We're going to go to Moscow in the winter of 41 or 42 and let's see what autumn looks like. Let's jump into here. I'm going to take the P-40. I'm going to throw some P-38s in there. Uh, we're going to be going against some 109s. Or should I change that? FG. Let's go after some later Model 1s. Let's go for a K. And I like those bombers. They're just fun to shoot at. Guys are shooting. Gotta watch out for their gunners. Come on, buddy. So close. Man, he can turn. Couple hits, nice. a target rich environment. Let's see how the P40 does in the air to ground roll. train over here waiting for me. Yup. Oh, this thing's gonna mess me up, I have a feeling. I gotta hit that engine. Man, the terrain in the uh, Moscow looks so awesome. And uh, for being 2D, I'm still achieving like 144. Now the water looks weird. I don't understand that. That almost looks like a graphical anomaly. Unless it's supposed to look like that. That's one nice thing about the IL-2 series. It's not the most demanding. I would imagine somebody with a mid-range system can really do well in this. All right, we got to get that locomotive. Oh, it's sitting still, though. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of fight left in it. There's a 
couple of cars left on that thing that's got guns. That should take some of the fight out of them. Looks like I took a couple hits. I think that's the other thing I'm really enjoying about IL-2 is the progressive damage model that it has. Way better than what we have in DCS at the moment. down there too moving along. Mission accomplished. Took out a bunch of stuff, man. That's cool. So this time I picked a little bit of weather. And I picked, uh, I want to say 1,700 hours. So I'm above the clouds. And as I reach below the clouds... effects. Man, these cities look really nice. Uh-oh. I think there's a train off in the distance that needs my attention. I like shooting trains. Really nice buildings and everything. He's headed into the train station. some damage. Looks like I stopped the locomotive. Boom. Fantastic. Well, he ain't reaching that train station. Uh, I love that sound, so that means I killed something else. Really nice visuals and lighting effects in this. I can't say it's as amazing as DCS, but it's very appealing. It doesn't look bad by any means. I 
So, thus far, I'm enjoying Battle of Moscow. And it's really funny, but I buy these based on the plane that I want to fly more than anything. Like, I wanted this because it had a P-40. Uh, I wanted the other one because it had a Spitfire. Fun stuff. I always thought just the look of the P-40 was just menacing, you know? Fantastic looking plane. So, so far, I'm digging it. This is the Battle of Moscow, and uh, this is me getting familiar with the P-40 in this, and uh, it's fun. I'm really enjoying myself both in and outside of VR, because outside of VR in 2D, like you're seeing right now, man, I'm cranking 144 FPS, and uh, it looks and feels fantastic. I mean, performance-wise, I can't ask for better. I bet if I turn V-Sync off, this thing would cruise past 144 as well. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time.